Samsung, proud sponsor of TechBusters. Forget about Oscar Pistorius or the missing Malaysian flight. The biggest news of the week coming a day before Valentine's Day was the fact that Gareth Cliff was re leaving 5FM. Now, this is the potency of this man's media profile that his comings and goings are as important as missing planes and major court cases. But we're not surprised because Gareth Cliff has become a part of the cultural and media landscape in South Africa in a way that I'm personally quite pleased about because he's not only genuine and real but fantastically courageous and controversial. And, uh, and what we're looking at is a bold new venture. So uh, maybe you can just run us through it. Cliff, wow. um, Cliff Central. After that introduction, anything I say is going to sound uh, a little disappointing, don't you think? Cliff Central is going to be a, a new media platform. We're going to use mobile, we're going to use uh, the internet, we're going to use uh, television. Um, it's going to be unradio. In other words, radio everywhere except on radio, because I think radio is going to die and I want to hold the funeral. Well, those are dr dramatic, dramatic ways to put it, but I mean, I, I fundamentally agree that the radio signal, the radio communication mechanism is still as powerful I mean, as it was. I mean, how we, in good conscience, can use something that Goebbels used as a propaganda tool as entertainment is beyond me. Well, that's a really good way of looking at it. It's the one, <laughs> it's the one, uh, it's the one powerful communication medium that hasn't been disrupted by all of the power of the internet and yeah. mobile communication, isn't it? Only because of traffic. Exactly. Only because of traffic well, and data charges. Exactly. So my, so, so the key for, to my mind, for the success of your venture is, is getting people to listen in the car and how to make it cheap and inexpensive for them to listen on, on a cell phone, which is Into why Brett. Brett Loebscher, one of the <laughs> great gentlemen of, uh, of the technology industry, you are the, the country manager of WeChat, uh, the, the Africa uh, general manager yeah. of WeChat. And, and this is quite a big venture for you. Yeah, it's very exciting. I mean, um, I think the, the disruptive nature of it and the innovation uh, side of it is just so appealing, you know, and it fits in with what our brand is trying to achieve um, and also helps us, you know, to kind of let people really, really fundamentally understand that we're really quite different from our competitors. And I mean, you know, what better partner could we hope to have? Than uh, Mr. Uncontroversial. Well, the, the nice thing about this is we actually really need each other. Um, because in order to get this right, I need to offer more than just an online streaming radio station. There have been some of those. They've, they've done okay. Um, but what we want to do is it's got to be bigger and better and more successful. And I think WeChat's a great partner for getting that right. And I also think th that they'll get the, the spin-off of all the attention that we've been getting in the media. And I think WeChat's a terrific uh, place for us to explore and, and play around. It's not the only place we'll play around, but it yeah. certainly gives us a dimension that no other online radio station has had up to I, I mean, I have to agree, and, I, and, I, and knowing some of, of Brett's plans and some of your plans, some of the I's and the T's in this venture aren't completely dotted yet, but should they fall into alignment and people can read between the lines, what what uh, you know that could be. This has really got the potential to be a total game changer because radio has maintained its primacy because of the power of, of the spoken word. Mm. Uh, people can be illiterate, but they can understand radio. The key problem for me, as I said, is that people are trapped in their car on the way to work. And that's, you know, if you can find a way through the technology delivery system that are the radio masks, then you, you know, the, the world is your oyster. Well, I also think that from a programming point of view, radio has become very predictable. It's hugely over-commercialized. You've got four spot breaks an hour, up to 12, 15 minutes on some stations of commercials. If you just pared that down to 10, you'd be doing the listener a service. Um, you've got unimaginative programming. They all copy each other. There's a format or a consultant from overseas yeah, exactly. who tells people what to do. Nobody has any uh, real creativity anymore. And if they do, then they're quickly pushed out. And it's very rare that in radio you'll find a, a management structure that actually engenders and encourages creativity. Um, so a, what's a in it for the listener? A management structure that is, in many ways, his master's voice. Yeah. You know, very management hard. in radio, they're the most dreadful people in the whole world. Unlike most television, those bosses of ours looking down, they, they, 
<laughs> but radio, I agree with you. Anyway, so let's just recap. I mean, it's a, it's a grand new venture. We're yeah. going to take uh, the, the, the Gareth Cliff way of doing things, the, the tell it like it is, the, the, the state the obvious, you know, say if, if uh, people are stealing or lying, which is what you've become famous for, uh, tell them if they've got a bad voice, and put them on, on WeChat, which is a remarkable next generation platform, isn't it, for, for this new kind of communication. There's so much you can do on WeChat. I yeah. mean, you know, people think it's a messaging service, but it's, there's so much going on there. We can do updates, we can give people clips every day, video, audio. Um, there, there's any number of possibilities here, which is a lot more exciting than people think. It's extremely powerful. I mean, we've got, um, we, we're busy helping uh, Gareth and his team to build the tools to, to have like full, full levels of engagement with, uh, with the listeners, you know. So it's, um, we're going to range from, as Gareth says, the content delivery stuff into um, kind of real-time polling and um, proper, proper audience engagement. And, you know, I think, I don't think anyone's really thinking about doing something along the lines of a second screen experience for radio. And that's kind of where we're headed. Which, and I like the, the innovation and, and disruptive sound of that. It's exciting stuff. Well, there you have it. We are looking at the old technology welded with the new and the possibility of a grand new way of delivering one of the gems of broadcasting radio via this wonderful all-in-wonder smartphone device. Good luck to both Gareth Cliff and WeChat.